Hello, hello! In this video, I'll be showing you the latest revision of Fluskbaster. Now, compared to the old one, the newest one is uh, about 4mm wider and about the same height, but one of the main differences is the thickness. The newer revision is almost the half the thickness of the old one. Of course, it uses 0.8mm uh, PCB instead of uh, 1.6, and battery holder changed as well. The newer revision is compatible with CR2016 battery, the older one uh, used a CR2032 battery. Both the front and the back artwork has been changed. Uh, now it has a two buttons on the back, one is to turn it on and off, and the other one is to set up. Uh, also, if you press the setup button once, it engages this flashing mode with the faster animation and the central LED beaming. And after a while, all the LEDs start uh, flash yeah, a couple of times. Now to set up your flux capacitor, just hold this setting button for one, one second. Now all the LEDs flash and now you're in the setting mode. Uh, this first, first section is uh, animation types, uh, there are 8 of them, uh, you can change it in between them by just uh, short pressing the setting button. And now hold one, one more second. Now this section is determines the animation speed, uh, again you should change it just uh, short press the setting button. Now, uh, according to the LED level, uh, for speed increases. Now we're at the max speed. Now let's keep it at the about 70%. Hold one more second. Now this section determines the LED brightness. Now we're at the half brightness. Uh, that's about okay. Now to save the setting again, just hold one more second. Now we're saved, and the animation changed as well. Of course, uh, there are one more version of this flux capacitor. That's the pin or batch version uh, with this pin on on the back instead of this keychain version, what I call. And. Of course, there are two LED types. This one is uh, warm white. Oh, this one is cold white. It's more of a bluish in the camera, but it's about uh, white uh, when you look at it in real life. Uh, let's look at different animations. Now, this one's my favorite one. Now to turn it off, uh, just press this button once, it turns off and goes into power down mode and in power down mode it consumes about 0.6 microamps and which the battery should last about 20 years or over 20 years. The battery will probably discharge it well itself before that. Uh, but overall, yeah, that's it. If you would like to buy this, uh, it's available on my Tindy store, link in the description, and bye, have a good day.